welcome back to your Thanks for staying with us. Dr. Prima Fools, as I said, are the makers of Indomie noodles. Notice the gap in not appreci appreciating youngsters below the age of 15 who have done something heroic and amazing. Hence, they created something called the Indomie Independence Day Awards. For the past 11 years, Indomie has rewarded 37 winners with a millionaire each. Uh, and this year is no different as three more children will be awarded in October. Today in the studio, we have Ajila Webby who won the second prize 2011 Indomie Independence Day Award. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm great. So, I watched your video and I was, almost, I was actually shocked at what happened. For those of you, I mean, we're gonna still see the clip, but let's go back to that day. You're on the bed with your sister and her water broke. And you, you're actually sleepy. She actually had to wake you up because you had no idea yes. what was going on. Tell us, the moment she woke you up, what, what did you see? Tell, describe what you saw. Actually, I saw her in pain. Right. Then I was scared. Okay. And then what did she do? What did she ask you to do? She said she was in the room and I should check if there is a neighbor at home. There's a neighbor in the house? Yeah. But there was no neighbor? No. She called the doctor, right? Yes. And what happened? Um, the doctor said... Um, uh, how do I put it? He just told her that the labor would be in the morning. Okay. Not but it was 4.30 a.m. at yes. night. So obviously at that time, the doctor couldn't reach her. Yeah. So the, there was no doctor, there was no neighbor. What did you do? She told me to get a towel, a scissors, and a clip peg. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pause at that second because we need to actually watch the clip. And then we'll come back to you to explain to you, explain to us exactly how you did that process. You gotta watch this. I am Ajila Webi, and this is my story. On the 8th of May, 2011, at about 12.30 a.m. in the morning, my elder sister who was pregnant went into labor. It was just myself, my pregnant sister, and a year and eight months old baby at home that night. My mom went for an official assignment. My sister, whose labor was gradually progressing, called the family doctor to explain to him on how she was feeling. The doctor told her that since it was her first delivery, it could take a while. By 4 a.m., the contraction was intense. There was no neighbor to beckon on. No car, no driver, just three of us. And our precious gift from God, craving to come to this new world. Since my sister couldn't take it anymore, she woke me up and shouted, Ajila, help, my baby is coming. I was still trying to come out for my dream and when I heard her scream, baby's head is out. The sleep left instantly. She had dilated enough for the delivery. I dashed into my mother's room to pull out a towel, a pair of scissors, and a clothes peg, according to my sister's instructions. I held the baby's head. It was slippery, so I had to use the towel to hold the baby's head while my sister pushed through. <laughs> I cut the umbilical cord and used the clothes peg to clip it. I wrapped my beautiful niece with a towel. Though it felt strange to have delivered my sister. By the time the doctor came, it was 6 a.m. He came to check on how she was doing. He got the good news. I had done his work without any complication. Can I ever forget this day? For the fact that I saved two lives in one body, never ever. Oh my Lord! You see, that 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 story touched me because you delivered your sister. How old were you then? Ten. You were ten years old. How old is your sister now? She's twenty-four. Your little your your, your baby sister, the no. little the one that was born. Nine. She's nine years old now. Oh my goodness. 
So, how did that day make you feel delivering your sister? <laughs> I had to ask that question. Actually, at first, it felt strange. But later, I got used to the feeling. You got happy. Yeah, you know, I was very, very happy. Slippery, the baby coming out. Even me as a mother, I, I, I'm trying to imagine. Just tell me exactly what you saw. Then I'll come to um, Mr. Shiwaji in the audience. I saw the baby's head. Okay. So, actually, I didn't want to take part in any of that. I was still scared. scared. So, my sister said, she mentioned, so I think she said something. She, she was like, do I want her to die? And I was like, no, that you won't die. So that motivated me to do what I did. So she pushed, the baby came out, and you yeah. cut the umbilical cord. cord. Yeah. Oh my God. I was scared seeing that. <laughs> Were you scared to do that? No. It wasn't scary. Let me come to Mr. Shiwaji because I need to ask you, this initiative of the Independence Day, uh, the Indomi Independence Award, how did it come about? And how did you discover people like Ajila? We've had a few of them come on the show. How do you discover these people who are deserving of this award, these young girls? Uh, thank you very much. Um, in cases like Ajila, we find out there are so many uncelebrated heroes in Nigeria. And you find out that uh, for us as a brand, what we did was that uh, we noticed the gap at which we found out that only the celebrated ones in Nigeria, so to speak, were the adults. And we felt that, yes, these were people who were doing things because they knew there was um, some form of reward coming their way. However, for the children, for the young uh, lads in Nigeria, the people who would naturally do things out of their own volition without uh, having it at the back of mind that anything good would come that way. They were just doing it uh, for doing it's sake. It was just a natural thing for them. So we decided that we we're going to play in that space because we knew the more encouragement we gave to those kind of people, the better for us as a country. Uh, Nigerians, if you uh, see what's been happening lately, or thereabout, you find out that there are so many negative things that just keep happening day after day. However, we've forgotten that there are also quite a number of good things happening in Nigeria that right. needs to be celebrated, that needs to be told. Because right. we knew the more encouragement we gave to those kind of people, the better for us as a country. Uh, Nigerians, if you uh, see what's been happening lately, or thereabout, you find out that there are so many negative things that just keep happening day after day. However, we've forgotten that there are also quite a number of good things happening in Nigeria that right. needs to be celebrated, that needs to be told. Right. And that was why to, we decided that we we're going to play in I have to space. ask you one, one, one last question. Thank so you. I know you have, another event is coming up in October. How are you getting selections for these um, young lads you're going to bring on? And how do you intend to shortlist the top three? Thank you. Uh, what we've actually done is that we actually commissioned our uh, research agencies to go around the country right. uh, searching for some of these stories. And of course, through our social media handles, uh, we have the uh, website www.heroesofnigeria.com, which people can go and submit their stories. And of course, that can also be done through our website www.dofield.com. All these stories, you have uh, a page there where stories can be submitted. And what we, what we actually do is that to come around the country, some of these stories at one point in time must have been told or must have been reported by the media, just like right. uh, some of these uh, stories that have been brought to light today. So right. we collate all these stories. For this particular year, we have over 360 stories wow. gotten so far. Wow. And what we try to do is that we prune them down to ensure that, I mean, we... I mean, validates. So it's not as if some people just sit down in a room and write stories for us. We go back there to do a back end right. check right. to revalidate these stories. Yep. And of course, we do some reenactments, yes. which of course we are going to show to credible judges right. in the country. So okay. it has absolutely uh, nothing in terms of who wins from us. Okay. What we do is that the judges decide who becomes the winner at any point in time. Right. So for us, it's just for us to 
Make sure that those stories are available. Make sure that those stories are validated right. and they are okay. presented to Nigerians right. to decide. Thank you. Congratulations to Indomi Independence Day Awards. We, we wish you the best and we hope to, I hope you're not more delivering babies. Do you plan to be a doctor in future? No. Really? I was thinking you'd want to be an OBGYN. No. no. What are you doing right now in school? Estate management. Estate management. Very far apart. All right. Let's go on a break now. Don't forget, if you have any child that deserves recognition in any of the three categories, social, physical, or bravery, please um, send their, their, their stories to heroesofnigeria.com. Actually, it's social, physical, and intellectual bravery. That's it. Heroesofnigeria.com. Up next, we continue our conversation that we started yesterday. Should grades determine our work appointments? Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs>